Sorry, uh, if that, that was a bit scary. Today's topic is the thumbs up, thumbs down groups. You've seen them, right? They're awful. They're just awful. Like, thumbs up, thumbs down pages, right? They have, like, their pros and cons, right? It's New South Wales RFS. Hell yeah. Big thumbs up. Uh, ice head uh, lighting fires down at the, uh, the boat ramp and shit like that. That's big thumbs down. My favorite part of these groups, right? Just the, the, the ones from people that are just like so entitled that anything could just ruin their day, right? That's tasty. That's some. Come with me and I'll show you some of them. Cause it's just, oh, just entitled. Entitled bloody, can I speak to the manager types the whole way around? It's beautiful. It's mm. Beautiful. Before we begin, I just want to preface that I've at least blurred out the, the last names. You know, I think people should be at least held accountable to the dumb shit they post online. I mean, like, held accountable, yes, but like, harassed, maybe not. Yeah? Don't, don't harass people. Let's begin. This one's about Christopher and his uh, <laughs> story about someone broke into his car and stole a bunch of money, right? Let's begin. <clears throat> Thumbs down to the pieces of shit that just helped their self to the $1.75 in my car parked in my driveway in Agent Street, Mount Austin. You're on camera, you silly little parasites. Come try it again, so I can give you something you really need. What? It was $1.75, Christopher. Alright, did you really need to put the real amount? If th Christopher has this problem that I like to call just telling a bad story, alright? This could... This, you could have just left out the amount, you could have said, some little parasite stole money out of my car. <laughs> Why did you have to add that it was only a dollar seventy-five? That's the what's that? Two chopper chops? What the fuck? Christopher! Learn to tell a better story. You can tell that Christopher was in his house like this, right? Oh, I can't wait till I get all these likes on my post. Can't believe they took me one dollar seventy-five. And then his wife's like, right? Christopher, do you have to put the correct amount? You can make it look fucking stupid. With a dollar seventy-five, that's two chopper chops, you dog. I think um, I think my other favourite parts too are right <laughs> when you scroll down. This is Greg asks, "Did you send the footage to police?" And then Christopher smug, <laughs> smugly but surely he goes, "Sure did, Greg." <laughs> Why? Was a dollar? I get, I get the point that people are like making their way into your car without your permission, right? That's bad. That's illegal. That shouldn't happen. No one is addressing that they stole a dollar seventy-five. All right, things could have been much, much worse. My auntie had her car stolen. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, fuck, I wish she had a dollar seventy-five there because they would have grabbed that instead. <laughs> like, it's just, just what a weird thing to complain about. Next meme. Next one. This, I also like boomer stuff, right? Just, just boomers just being entitled, right? <clears throat> Here's Joan. Comes down to whoever delivers packages. I just happened to look outside and saw my mailbox lit up and saw something. Gee, sitting on it was me iPad cover that I've been waiting for the O's in. Couldn't even knock on the door. It was left in the mailbox. They are so lucky it wasn't taken or they would have been in big trouble. So much for great service nowadays. Too lazy, bloody millennials. What? Joan? What? What are you complaining about? So they put your package in the mailbox and then they left. That's their job. That's what they do. That's, you know what I mean? I love this, I love this. Joan's like, why can't they fucking deliver it and put it on the iPad themselves? No customer service these days. Fucking bring me back to the 1970s where everything was better. No, Joan. Things are better now. All right? We have mail. All right? I love this. I love Joan just taking on a random person who said a nice thing. Carmen says, fabulous. You got your iPad cover. Woohoo. And then Joan fires back with, Carmen, are you stupid or what? If it was yours, it might be a different story. That's the idea of thumbs up, thumbs down. You say what you feel, no need to be so nasty. Joan literally called out the mailman for doing their job. Next meme. Oh, I like this one too, ready? Come down to people who can't flush a toilet after using it in the parents room at the start. Start more. Jeez, I'll just hold it till I get home. Why? 
Just flush the toilet. You're a big girl. And I can tell how much traction it's got because it got 73 comments, right? Love it. Libby. Or you could just flush it. I'm with Libby, man. You Sometimes you need a shit and sometimes someone's taking a piss. Just flush it. Like it's like literally two, two button presses. One, one button press. It's not even that. It's just like you just very gingerly put your finger on top of it. I think even the start mall has a little, uh, like sensor touch button. You don't even really need to do anything. Just flush the fucking toilet. Jasmine replies with, I didn't do the shit, so I'm not flushing it. Maybe the person who took a massive shit should have flushed it. Why? Why are we complaining about this? Tell me we got into it. Why does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a shit? Well, it was fucking one of yes. Disgusting! There's little bad people going around while stealing parcels off people's porches and stealing cars. And we're, we're, we're complaining about someone not flushing their shit. What? I hate bogger. Nah, it's alright. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I found a, a couple of gems. I like those. I think, um, I think it's dumb. Just get rid of that entire page altogether. Just have, like, wagga thumbs up. Don't have thumbs down, because then people just abuse that and complain about people not flushing the shitter. We're all adults. Flush the shitter. Alright, ciao Bella. Whew.